Children's eye care is not scary. It's actually quite a lot of fun. Well, there's a lot of information that we can gather without a child saying a single word. Children should begin with their first eye exam somewhere between six months to one year, and then following that every year for a healthy child with normal vision. Your child's not gonna be as good at saying which one's better, one or two. So we rely on a lot of the skills that we have as optometrists. So a children's eye exam from the time that they walk in, we're really always watching the way that they're moving in space, if they're crawling, if they're tracking you, if they're making eye contact. When the actual exam testing is occurring, we would begin with a vision test, and that might be with pictures, it might be with certain photos and things where they have to be looking at something or we watch to see where their eyes are tracking to. We would use uh, an instrument called a retinoscope and lenses to look at uh, the actual prescription of the eyes. A big part of an eye exam is the health of the eye. So looking at the structures in the front of the eye and then looking at the back of the eye, the retina as best as we can. So binocular vision really truly means the element of the two eyes working together. Fundamentally, most people have two eyes and one brain. So all of the information from the two eyes has to come together within the brain and be a cohesive, natural process for us to make sense of it. Binocular vision conditions or things that we might diagnose within an eye exam that we would want to work up maybe further with a binocular vision assessment are things like an eye turn. So strabismus, whether the eyes are not focused in the right direction, amblyopia if one of the eyes is weaker than the other. There's also muscles in our eyes that help us focus up close. For children, those muscles are working very hard and they're relaxing for thing, looking at things far away. So some of the markers or red flags for binocular vision issues would be a child who's clumsy. So they might be lacking in depth perception. Um, in a classroom setting, they might have a really hard time tracking or looking at the board and then looking down at paper. Our teachers might notice that a child is leaning on a table or on their desk with their, an their hand covering up one of their eyes or leaning over to one side. And that could be a way that they've just naturally decided to compensate for something like double vision. Preventative work for parents or things that they have control over for their children's vision. The first and foremost thing is going to be frequent eye exams. So checking in with your eye doctor, your optometrist to see what they're suggesting. There are many things that can affect a child and we have to remember that because they're developing so quickly, the eyes are so closely related to the brain that if we're not giving the eyes a good enough chance to see an image clearly in those early years, the brain's not receiving that clear image to develop a good visual understanding of the world. So we want intervention to happen as soon as possible.